So what we're going to show you now is how to build an application, an ADF mobile application that access a secure web service. Um, so this is the web service that is running. We define security on it. It's running on our integrated server and we're going to build an application that would access it. Okay, developer, we're going to create a new application, another Maven mo mobile application. Give it a name. Click next and click finish. Because we're going to access a secured web service, we also need our whole application to be secured, so to actually prompt for a username password. And um, to do that, we'll actually modify the security in here. So we go into description, uh, into the ADF meta inf, and you can see the ADF MF application file. If you click on it, there's a section here called security, and when you click on it, you can specify um, the login server that you're going to secure your access um, against. And to do that, you basically can build an ADF application, secure it, and run it on the same web logic that you're going to access. Um, in terms of secure, all you need to have is an ADF application that prompts for authentication using a regular uh, web form. So I have one of those. Let me show you the application. So we'll switch over to our browser, open a new tab, and I'll put in the URL for my ADF application. As you can see, this is a regular ADF URL. And you can see that when I try and access the application, I actually need to provide a username and password. So copy this URL. And what you're going to do now in your application is define a new application login server. Give it a name. So for me, I'll call it just local and paste the login and logout URL, which are basically the same. You can even test the connection. Okay. Um, you can also specify here the cookie and idle time and session timeout and things like that for keeping the information about the user in your phone. Let's click OK here. So, so far, we basically defined application login server for our application. Now let's go and actually build a feature here. So we'll build a web service call feature. Okay. And um, this is just going to be a simple AMX page. And um, populate the AMX, we're going to use a web service, right? So we're going to do a new, and in data control, choose a web service data control, click OK, and then we give it a name, and we need the URL. So again, switch over to your browser, copy the URL of the WSDL, and paste it here. Choose the methods you want to access, and click Finish. So now you have the data control defined. You can actually see the service here. This is the data controls DCX file. And what you want to do now is quite important. You want to right click this service, okay? And choose define web service security from the right click menu, so from the context menu. And you'll get a nice dialog that allows you to choose what type of security you're going to use. Not by the way that you might get a long list if you uncheck this thing. You actually want to see the policies that actually apply to this web service. So we have a simple username token client policy defined for this service. So we're going to click, click it and then click OK. So we just defined that this service is secured. Now we can actually build our page, so we can split the view, and we're going to use one of the simpler uh, services or methods in our web service. So we have a s method that does a get department, so it's quite simple, it doesn't get any parameters, just return a list of department and employees, so we can just drag and drop it into our page. Let's say, let's get a list of departments. 
I'm going to use a simple list in our case. Um, let's show the name of the departments. It's a little bit more interesting. Um, let's click OK. So that's our web service page. Back into the ADF MF application, or actually into the ADF MF feature page, okay, where we define this feature called WS call. We also want to click on security here and enable security for this um, feature. So here you can specify whether you're using local security or remote. We're going to use the remote one. We're going to secure against the remote server. If you look here now in the ADFMF application file, you'll see the feature listed here and you want to specify that it's also using the same login server that you specified here. Okay, so this is the local. Click Save. One last thing to check. Look at the connections XML file. Okay. And you'll see here that we just added this aspect, the ADF credential store key, which is local. And what you want to do now is also define to the service that you have here that it's also going to use the same um, security. So there's a property here, okay, so you're clicking on the department service, the service that you're using. There's a property here called a credential um, store key, and you want to set it to local which would basically be the same entry that you have up there. So now we know this service uses this security server to uh, do the validation. Um, that's basically it. Click Save, right click and deploy your application. Um, we're using Android in our case. I'm going to turn on the release mode for my application. Makes it smaller and easier and then I'm going to deploy my application directly to a device in my case. Okay, so now we have our applications over here. We're using application 270. It's the one we just built. We'll start it up. And we're being prompted to log in. So this is basically using uh, the fact that we just specified for the application to be a secured application, we get the login screen. So this is the default one. We're going to log in using a specific user that is defined for the web service. And when we're going to click the login button, this goes over to the WebLogic server, execute the logins, and get us back a list of the department. If we we'll now, now remove this application from the list and try it one more time, this time we're going to log in as a user that doesn't exist. Okay, we'll get the error. We won't be able to get to the next step and invoke the web service. So, what you've seen here is how we take a web service, create a data control out of it, specify that it's a secure web service, then specify the security aspects for the feature and for the application, okay? and also remember to specify it in the connection XML for the web service data control.